So let's talk about C++ versus Rust. We had a couple of talks talking about like Rust in this one. So like, what's up with Rust? Um, so I'm not an expert C++ programmer, and I'm not an expert Rust programmer. So I'm like the worst person to give this talk, but here I am. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about like which is better. Fortunately, we have like language features in C++ that tell us which is better. So let's just like run this real quick. Oh, okay, that's not gonna work. All right, so let's like try to do this vibes based <laughs> <laughs> with animals. Ooh, that's fun. Yes. Okay, so I would describe C++ as more like a hedgehog. It's very compact, like it's very small when you actually like write it. Like you can say a lot with a very little amount of C++. It's spiky, so like if you handle it wrong, you will get hurt. And usually I find in my experience when I'm programming C++ is more like running around until eventually I will have success and not really quite understanding what I do until like finally, finally all the things fit together. Uh, also, C++ is vaguely friend shaped. <laughs> Okay, so vibes. Vibes is like, or like Rust feels super verbose when you write it. Like if you like say the same thing in Rust as you would say in C++, it takes like three or so lines, depending on what you're saying. Uh, it also has really good memory. When here I'm talking about like the lifetimes, like it knows where each of your things came from. Uh, it's also very slow and methodic. Like you have to think about what you're doing. Sometimes like you can't figure out what, something to do, what, what to do something instead of just hacking together a solution like you would in C++. You actually have to go back and do like a principled redesign of your entire algorithm. Uh, it's also vaguely friend-shaped. <laughs> okay, so let's just like to do a comparison to try and figure out which is better. So first of all, we all know how to do types in C++. So since C++ is a functional language, you have to store your data inside the closure, <laughs> and then you access it with visitor pattern. But we know how to do that in C++, so let's talk about Rust. Um, it virtually is the Henley Milner's type system. So as opposed to like OOP, what some people might be used to if you speak Java or like some other languages, like C++ is functional, we already went over that. <laughs> but this is um, Rust. So the way that uh, Henley Milner works is think, instead of thinking about like classes that have functions inside them, you think about data and then things that you can do to them. And there's two kinds of implication uh, um, implementations you can do in Rust. So you can either have an implementation on the person, which is just like you can think of like the struct as its own trait. And what a trait is, is like an interface. So you can think about the like pure abstract interface. So this has no definition. And then instead, and to get hierarchy, what you do is you implement each of these traits. And these traits don't necessarily like pass on implementation from one thing to another. You can have implementation within the trait, but it's not inherited specifically. All right, so didn't really get anything there. Let's look at the value model real quick. So in C++, I know we've also <laughs> in this beginner example where we have in and out and in and out parameters, but let's look, look at Rust real quick. Um, so instead in Rust, uh, we have um, an owned transfer. So like moves are implicit in Rust and um, borrowing is always immutable. So it's const by default. And then you have mute. There's also just rules about when you can borrow and when you can't borrow. And that's what makes Rust safer. So here, I think that, uh, I don't know, I don't have an opinion here. Like, I think all of these things make sense. I like being explicit about moves. Copy. You have to call like a function called dot clone to actually uh, copy something. You have to be explicit about that. Um, okay, so let's look at generics real quick. Uh, this is how we do generics in C plus <laughs> plus. Uh, um, uh, a lot more flexible. You can do that. You can do anything you want with generics. However, in Rust, you're a little bit more principled. You actually have to have these traits. The reason we want to find these is this is constrains what we can have on template parameter. It's kind of like concepts, but you have to fulfill that contract or else it will not compile. Um, theoretically, you won't do that in Rust or in C++ either. But here, this is actually part of the compilation requirement for this function, right? You stop like it's just putting in at run, um, compile time. All right, so let's do some final thoughts. All right. Um, so safety, I forgot how to work. So this is how you write some unsafe C++. C++ this is all it takes. This is how it takes to, this is all it takes to write some unsafe Rust. So people talk about Rust being safer, but it, like it's sort of a lie. Like I know they talk a lot of times about like you can do whatever you want, but this is like so just an actual section from like Tokyo, which is the um, multi-threading thing, and you can see there's all sorts of little unsafe things here. So and I find a lot of times when you're writing actual for real algorithms in Rust, you actually have to use unsafe too. Like I'm not going to say that like. Rust is just as unsafe as C++, that would be a complete bold-faced lie. But to say that like there isn't unsafe stuff in Rust is also kind of a lie. So just understand that. Okay, so final thoughts. Um, um, 
So why did I talk about this? I made a bunch of fun about jokes about how to do things in C++. That's basically my summary here. C++ is really versatile. Anything you want to do in C++, you can do somehow, some way. The reason Rust can be safer is because it's a little bit more limited of a language. There's a lot of features that C++ has that Rust doesn't have, but a lot of that is deliberate to make Rust a little bit more safe. So what language is better? I don't know. It depends what your use case is. Okay. <laughs>